Before I start, I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Mahava, Kakodash, Yahweh, which is the one true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world eagerly calls Jesus Christ, but his one true name is Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders and apostles, a great millstone who will well teach well, because those are the men who I learned this truth from. Through the spirit and power, Yahweh Shai, Shai, peace, blessings, salutations, so for the light. And shalom to you, sincere brother, scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am the brother Mashiach Arazaka from the servants of Yahweh Wai, Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada Branch. And uh, pretty much, this is going into continuing Jeremiah 50. And we left off at 16, so we're going to start at 14, and we're going to break down to verse 21. And Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. This is the continuance of it. Jeremiah 50, verse 17. It says, Israel is a scattered sheep. Yep, we know who, that Israel is a scattered sheep. Israel was scattered amongst the four horns, which are symbolizing the four empires. You know, um, the Babylonian Empire, Medio Persian Empire, Greek Empire, Roman Empire. And it says, the lions have driven them away. The lions have driven them away. This is, that's talking about the other nations. And we're going to prove that. Go to uh, Jeremiah 12 and uh, verse 9, I believe. Let me highlight it too. This is uh, Jeremiah 12 and 9. And it says, My inheritance is give." It says, My inheritance is unto me as a speckled bird. The birds around about are against her. Come ye, assemble. All the beasts of the field come to devour. So that's the lion ones, all right, of the beasts of the field. You know, the Lord used to describe these other militaries, and that's pretty much what it is. So we're going to go back to that Jeremiah 50 and verse uh, 17. So that's what that's referring to, the other nations. It's military. It says the lions have driven him away. It says Israel is a scattered sheep. The lions have driven them away. Talking about the other nations, right? The, uh, the Lord used to describe them as the other militaries, right? It says first king of Assyria have devoured him. And last, this Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon have broken his bones so when you go into the history of assyria took the northern kingdom right when you we know that when you look into um uh, i think it's second kings the 17th chapter right and it also goes into um second edges 13 and you read from verse 39 all the way down to 42 it goes into uh the assyrian uh empire taking down the northern kingdom of israel and uh the northern kingdom of israel revolting against um the assyrian empire and they went to a land where no man dwelt, right? And that goes into uh, Second Edges, the 13th chapter. So, again, you know, when you go into the history of, you know, Assyria, you know, took the northern kingdom, you know, uh, Babylon to the, to the southern kingdom. When you read down of uh, Second Kings, the 17th chapter, it says Judah was last, but then they also fell. You know, and then later down the line, you had the uh, Babylonian Empire, uh, you know, be that being that second, uh, not second beast, that first beast, it was Syria, but then the Babylonians came in, right? You had Nebuchadnezzar coming in, etc. Going to Daniel, the seventh chapter, it says, And at last, this Nebuchadnezzar, uh, king of Babylon, have broken uh, his bones. So, you know, now we are in this modern day Assyria and Babylon through the spirit, you know, pretty much, because back then you had the ancient time of ancient Assyria. And ancient Bab uh, uh, ancient Syria, and you had um, you know the Babylonians, you know Nebuchadnezzar. But now, in this modern day daytime that we're living in, in this present time now, we have modern Syria, modern day Syria, and modern day Babylon, you know, through the spirit. Verse eighteen it says, "Therefore, thus saith the Lord of hosts, the power of Israel. Behold, I will punish the king of Babylon and his land, as I have punished the king." of Assyria. So the Lord has punished Pharaoh and every other nation and every, and everybody else. All right. And that's pretty much what the Lord, you know, has done. Verse 19. Um, 
Let's see, that's at verse 18, Salakia verse 19. And it says, And I will bring Israel again to his habitation, and he shall feed a, car a Carmel and Bashan, and his soul shall be satisfied upon the Mount of Ephraim and Galilee. So, you know, the Lord, you know, is going to give back what he took from us. All right, he's going to give it back to us. All right, we're pretty much rebellious. So the Lord put us through a, a temporal punishment. But the Lord, he's going to give it back to us. You know, he's going to give give us back what he took from us. Because, you know, we were disobedient. You know, we didn't keep the law, statutes, and commandments. We started following away as the heathen. So the Lord put us through a temporal punishment. But he's going to He's going to give us back the, what he took from us. You know, it's like, for example, when you have a child and they do something wrong, you punish them, you put them on punishment. You know, you take away the things that they really like or what they really enjoy having. And then, you know, once, you know, you feel like, your, you know, your punishment was enough for your child, you give them back what you took from them. It's the same thing with us, and you know, with us being children of, of the Most High. This is um, Jeremiah 50 and 20. It says, in those days and in that time, saith the Lord, um, saith the Lord, the iniquity of Israel shall be sought for, and there shall be none, and the sins of Judah, and they shall not be found for I will pardon them whom I reserve. See, so there you go. So the Lord said he's going to pardon whom he reserved because not all Israel is going to be saved. And that's a fact. And we're going to get that um, in Zechariah 13 and 8. This is Zechariah 13 and 8. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left one in. All right, and two-thirds. That's talking about, you know, the is you know, the Israelites that, you know, that's not in this truth, you know, that's against this truth, that wanna do what they wanna do, right? That's being comfortable in this society. They ain't repentant. They still have the Gentile state of mind. They don't wanna come out of that. They wanna keep doing what they wanna do, and they're embedded in the religions and philosophies of the oppressor. So they're gonna be if they don't repent, they're gonna be destroyed. You know, those that know. You know, you got those that don't know, but majority of our people, which is a two thirds, a lot of people, they know about this truth, but they refuse to, 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 to get it, you know, to come back, repent. They feel comfortable here. So not all Israel is going to be saved. You know, two thirds of them is going to uh, be put to death. And this is uh, got another precept too. this Isaiah um, one and nine. Just real quick, and then we're going to get back to the main point because I know Jake got a short attention span. This is Isaiah 1 and 9, and it says, Except the Lord of hosts had left unto us a very small remnant, we should have been as Sodom, and we should have been like unto Gomorrah. What happened to Sodom and Gomorrah? Fire and destruction. The Lord destroyed uh, Sodom and Gomorrah. It was destroyed. It was destroyed with that sulfur. The Lord destroyed it, burned it. That fire of destruction. You know, so America, Babylon the Great, is Sodom and Gomorrah. This place is, you know, destined for fire, destined for destruction. You know, this place is cor corrupt. And this is Jeremiah 50. And um, wrapping it up with verse 21. And we'll continue to rest tomorrow. This is Jeremiah 50 and 21. It says, it says, go up against the land of Marathium, even against it, and against the inhabitations of Peckin, waste and utterly destroy after them, saith the Lord, and do according to all that I have commanded thee. All right, the land of Marathium, and again, the inhabitants, you know, of uh, Peckin, or Peckin, if I'm saying it right, those are just the other names for Babylon. All right, Marathium, if I'm saying the name right, Marathium, Marathium, or Marathium, is is um, double rebellious. And that word peak, pecket, you know, is uh, visitation or punishment. That's what it means. So that word um, Marathium is basically double rebellious. And that word pecket, pecket, you know, it's pretty much meaning for visitation or punishment. So, you know, that's pretty much what America is pretty much headed into. Those are just other names for Babylon, which is this place called America. So we're going to wrap it up with that. 
All right, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Yahweh Kakodash, and double honors to the elders and apostles, a great millstone who will well teach well. Because those are the men who I learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the whole elect. And shalom to you, sincere brother scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am the brother Mashiach Arazaka from the servants of Yahweh Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And Lord willingness, that's what was edifying. Until next time I say, shalom. Shalom.